Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a slimline box with a fold over front and wrap around paper. So the paper goes from tucked inside there, follows the box all the way around and back over to the front, just decorated with a little bit of butterfly detail. Using the Artistry Blooms um, paper, which I haven't used for a while, I think mostly because I've been focusing on Christmas, but it's a really nice box. And actually I made it originally in 2014 so I'm kind of refocusing on an old project of mine and on that one I kept the paper all the way down to here so I can actually show you the photos of my original project which I hope oh camera focus you can see the paper goes a little bit further and on that one the paper comes much further down I'm actually stopping the paper this time around at there but yeah um what's the date on that February the 9th, 2014. So goodness me, long time ago, but I'm going to use my own measurements. Might as well. I work off my own measurements so that I know they work for you. <laughs> okay. So you need a piece of cardstock that is six by five and a half inches, which is 14 by 15 centimeters. Okay. So on the long side, I just confirm that is the long side. It is. Um, we're going to score it at, let me just get the stylus the right way around, oh, just put my noisy bracelets away, um, score it at three quarters of an inch, two and three quarters, three and a half, and five and a half inches, which in metric is two, seven, nine and fourteen. And then on the short side, score it at three quarters of an inch again and at four and a half inches, which in metric is two and eleven and a half. OK, so we've got a skinny side there, so I'm going to keep that over to one side. Or very slightly narrower, I should say. This is Blushing Bride. It's not exactly the colour that goes in there, but I didn't want to go Melon Mamba or Magenta Madness. And I like to show you different colours, so I didn't want to go Rich Razzleberry again. And I thought, let's have a look, see what Blushing Bride might look like. Okay, so mm, we've got two parts here one on the left and one in the middle that are the same width and a very slightly narrower one and then a wider panel at the top or a panel at the top that is slightly wider than that one so this is your top that's the bit we're going to be putting glue on so we need to take some bits away and we'll take that little rectangle away first and then just trim and wedge very slightly these little squares okay so that is the back and if I mock up how it's going to be positioned you can see that the back is going to fold over to the front so where I've got this thin bit this is the one panel that you want to keep get rid of the rest so basically it's the larger rectangle next to where we're going to pop glue which might that slightly and then yeah get rid of all of this part this calls for big scissors there we go so I'm going to scooch that away for now and before I put it together I want to round my corners and that's of this panel here so this is the detailed trio punch. It's got three um, different punches in one. And yeah, I use that one more than anything else. Right, so while I've got this out, I'm gonna grab my paper and round up one end. This measures, oh, what does it measure? One and three quarters, sorry, one and three quarters by 12. Um, which is four and a half by 30 centimeters. Now, here's the thing. So if you want it like this, which is what I'm going to do, you round one end and you line it up 
on that side, okay? And start bending it round. If you want it to go over, you actually start it at this side and start bending round. So what I'll do is I'll put this box together and show you what I mean. So I like to give you options. Two sides in and the back. And then bring that over. So, like I say, if you want, oh, and yes, pinch it into position. Just push very gently with your fingers. So, if you want to go the same as I've done on this one, you start there and just get hold of it and wrap it and come round and then you trim off the excess. If you didn't want to do it like that and you wanted to do it like my original project, which you're welcome to look at from February, you start there and wrap the other way round and it folds over that little bit further like that. Okay? Options. I'm going to do it the same as my original. Am I or shall I show you a different version? Do you know what? Let's, let's give you a different version. So, you grip it roughly in position and just use your fingers to form the rough crease mark and just keep following all the way and that comes down actually this one comes all the way to the bottom wow maybe i wrote down my instructions wrong from my original project but it comes all the way down like that and you would stick it on like that so let's get it glued up And then I'm going to run some more glue here and get that lined up. And then obviously I don't want to put too much glue on here, so I'm going to put glue onto the lip there and attach it like that. And then when you come to close, it's like that. Boing! Love it. So like I say, you've got options, so you could do it like that. Or you could do it like this. So I'm going to grab my ribbon because that's what I'm using to close with. This ribbon, I think, is part of the... It's from the annual catalogue and it comes with another... I want to say two ribbons and I think it's a... Pay this is the other one, but I'm not sure if there's a third one. I tend to buy ribbon, which I love. I use ribbon a lot, and then I pop it on my shelf, and I just grab it. I don't worry too much about whether it's from the right collection, <laughs> inverted commas or not. Okay. Okay. So, they do look different. Well, obviously, they're going to look different because, you know, different paper, different colours. Let's bring in my lovely butterfly gala and a scrap of paper. And I went blushing bride, but I'm going to bring in gorgeous grape for this, which I apparently have put to one side. Let me see. So. And gorgeous grape, because I feel that's the kind of colour that's that's in here more so than the pinks. Gorgeous grape and one of these. I'm going to go different stamp set this time. So that's Butterfly Gala, and I'm going to use the Butterfly Duet Punch. And on there, and then I'm just going to do a little colour bleed with my Wink of Stella. So you just pick up the colour on a ready stamped image, and hopefully you can see there's a little difference. It's probably a bit more visible in real life rather than on my on my light above me but just a little bit super quick and punch both of them at the same time now i was going to use the artistry blooms sequins but I actually don't think that colour is going to work. So, 
bear with me. I'm looking to my right to see what colours I've got that I could go with. And actually, I'm going to go pearls coloured. Um, what colour is that one? Blackberry Bliss. Oh, that might work. That's a similar tone. So I'm just using the side of my brush. I'm going down on it, but I'm going round it. So I'm not actually working with the tip. It's the sides. Um, oh, that's far too many of those. Let's have a couple of little ones. Okay, and I'm going to let them dry just for a second. So yeah, marker on there. Yeah, that's okay. That's a good colour. Okay, so I'm going to bend my butterfly a little. And then just bend. So I've bent it in the middle. Oh, can you see it? I've bent it in the middle. And then I'm going to bend the wings out a little. Just the top wings. So that you get... Um, the sort of the shape is how you would draw birds like that so that's the shape and then these ones just in the middle and a mini glue dot on the back of that one offset down at the bottom and that one up there and then hopefully these are dry enough now so I'm going to take these three little ones and pop them on the little butterfly's body well, you can stamp the body and the antenna. I never do. I like to do this. And I'll have three of the bigger ones on the bigger butterfly. And then my three little medium ones I'll scatter on the project if I could pick them up. And I haven't stamped any kind of sentiment because I want this to be useful for all occasions. It could be that you're going to visit somebody over Christmas and they're maybe hosting a, drinks or dinner or something like that, or maybe after Christmas. Um, and you want to give a little gift to the hostess. Perfect. Nice little um, birthday treat, just because treat. Or you could switch it out for Christmas paper and Christmas punches and a lovely Christmas gift. Anyway, you stand those up. Oh, that one doesn't want to stand. Heavy ribbon, I think. Oh, well, it's fine. I'll have it standing shortly. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.